all series for Red Lab News here in Long Beach, California, catching up with former WBO Superman World Champ Isaac Royal Storm Dog Bay. Isaac, you're spending a few days here in California. How's everything going? It's always beautiful here in California, man. The sun, the sun here is different, you know. So uh, I mean, I, I I always enjoy the valley, you know. So it's pretty nice, you know. How different is it from what you're used to back home? Um, I mean. I'll say I'm all I always feel comfortable everywhere I'm at, you know, because every everywhere I go, um, I always have like great people uh, around me. So right. you know, it's all about the networking and the relationships you know, right. that you have with people. So it's always great, and um, I thank God for the people that are around me. Talking about the relationship, the network that you've been building throughout your uh, professional boxing career, how did you reach Coach Ivan to spend a few uh, days, weeks here at you know Jack Rabbit uh, Boxing Academy in Long Beach, California? Um, you know, we spoke briefly okay. just before just before um, I went I went I went to my family in uh, in Florida, All right. and um, you know. I was I was gonna come here and spar and then do some um, and, and do some sparring with um, with his son, right. you know, um, um, Ash. Ash. I mean, Ash. he's uh, I see uh, we, uh, we, we've been seeing him on on, on Instagram. So, yeah, you know, um, he's got a, a he's huge a, following for being exactly. Yeah. Um, I mean, he's a, he's a real talent, you know. So um, when I was coming back to California, yes. I hit um, I hit up um, Coach, Coach Ivan and I said to him that oh. You know what? I'll be in California for a few weeks, so when I'm down, I'll come. I'll come to your gym, and he said, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah." You know, so it was just, it was just like that. You know, so I touched down and um, I hit him up, and yeah, just I'm, I'm here. So I was uh, able to witness some of the drills that you were doing earlier today with Coach Ivan. Uh, talk to the Fifers what it is that you were doing earlier today for the was it two and a half hours that you were doing drills and a little bit of stretching, a little bit of mitts, a little bit of. Uh, Shadow boxing, uh, the, the the typical day for Isaac Dog. You know, um, a lot. You you all know that it's been a, we've had like a you know a hell of a, a hell of a few months now because of the, the pandemic, pandemic, you yes. know, and everything. So it's like we've all kind of been like a little bit inactive, right. you know. So I mean, you, you, you never stop learning. Right. You know, with me, the way I see it, the way I see it is that. We, 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 we continue learning, we, we, and you know, there's always something to pick from every every person, everyone, that every coach, you know, that 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 you, that, um, that, that you speak to, you know, that you work with, you know. So um, I believe that we always have to go back to the basics, you know. Somewhere along the line, you know, when you keep on going, 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 reach the top. You forget about your basics a little bit, you right. know, but then... It's, so that's what you were touching bases with, a exactly, little bit of your basics? Exactly, it's, it's, it's important, you know, it's, important, it's, it's really important that, um, excuse me, that you get back to your basics and get back to doing, you know, the, the, low, thing, the low things that we, right. we kind of like, we ignore. Right. You know, sometimes you just want to go out and just bang and bang and bang, you know, rather than actually put a sweet science to the test, you know, so, um, I mean, I enjoy working with them and, uh, and you know, I, I, I love it, you know, the people here are great. It seems yeah. that you brought your personality, your, your, your wit to this gym, because you, you guys <laughs> seem to get along pretty well. I mean, it's a blessing, you know, it's a right. blessing. Um, like I said earlier, everywhere I go, you know, um, a lot of people show me love and uh, it's all about the networking and, you know, I thank God that you know I have that great relationship with everybody you know it's, uh, moving, moving forward uh, with your new trainer Patrick Harris and Barry mm -hmm. Hunter everybody knows you made that move you made that change uh, top rank is having some cars uh, starting June mm -hmm. uh, more than likely they'll be all held in Vegas yeah it, has your promoter talked to you about when your next fight date might be um, you know I think we are looking towards uh, either ending of June okay. or mid-July. Yeah, ending of June or mid-July. So, for the if meantime, I may mention a card uh, taking place in Vegas. It was yeah. just announced. Uh, it was Alex Oxido is headlining a card on June 30th in Vegas. Maybe you may fit in. 
if you um, we don't give know it a call yet. We don't know yet. Okay. I mean, um, what I know is that we've been given uh, either ending of June or mid July, so we're looking forward to that. And um, I mean, I'm here because uh, um, DC isn't isn't open just yet. You right. know, okay. um, so we're still waiting for you know for DC to open. And do you do you uh, keep uh, in touch with your with yeah, your yeah, uh, yeah, on yeah. a daily basis? I mean, um, he said he said to me I have to keep active. You know, okay. so and uh, that's why I came. You know, I came down here to to work with. Uh, with, 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 um, with Ivan and, uh, yeah. and, 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 his, and his team, you know, I mean, like I said, it's always a great relationship, I love it down here, you know, um, so, you guys will be seeing me more more often here, right. you know. Well, people don't don't remember, I followed uh, your career on Box Rec, you started your career here in Southern California, you actually fought three times here in the LA area, mm. what do you remember about those fights earlier in your career? Do people know who Isaac Dog Bay was? People know who Isaac Dog Bay. They do now. Yeah, I mean, um, back then, back then, I used to go by the name Ijo Valiente. Ijo Valiente. <laughs> Ijo Valiente. Yeah, brave the son. The brave son. The right, brave right. son. Yeah. Okay. So, um, you know, I, I always you enjoyed. You kept that it. name. I did. You know, um, it's, it's a name that, you know, that um, it was with me like from the beginning of my boxing career. You know, because. Uh -huh. There's a said I was uh, I'm a low kid, I'm a low, I'm a low uh, a low guy but then you know right. a low guy with a big heart. So right. hence the name um Eo Valiente, brave son, you know. So um I mean it's always exciting here in California, you know, mixing up with all these great fighters, you know. You have um fighters from all from all parts of the world, you know. Right. Mexicans, you have um, the Eastern Europeans, you have the Africans, you have yeah. the English, the Irish. This is like you know, the, the hub. Afri of exactly, yeah. you know. So if you can make it in America, you can make it everywhere. You right, know? So right. it's, it's one of those things, you know. So I really enjoy it down here. Your new challenges for your next uh, step in your career, you're moving up to Featherweight, yeah. right? Yeah. You had a fight schedule this May. Unfortunately, because of the COVID uh, pandemic, yeah. everything got cancelled. Mm -hmm. Is he the opponent that you may be facing when you step up to the ring? Um, we don't know. We don't know who, who I'll be facing just yet. You know, um, right now, it's about, uh, it's all up to my team, you know, and my promoters, you know, to really, you know, to... Um, Are you planning on staying busy for 2020 if you guys get the green light and... Definitely, you know, speed definitely. up the process for yeah, you to yeah, be yeah, yeah, yeah. on a contending fight? Of course, of course, you know. Right now, I mean, we're not in no rush, you know. Good. We just want to take things one step by a time. You yeah. know, like I said, um, I've had a few challenging fights, you know, two, two challenging, you know, top fights. So right now, it's all about coming back, you know, right. just making sure that I'm back to my bases, doing the right things, you know, and I'm here. Yeah, I'm working with Coach Ivan and um, you know and, and, and Trevor, you know, and all these other coaches here, you know, and uh, John Arthur, you know. So, Coach, great work. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so you know, it's all it's all about it's it's, it's all about getting back to the basics, right. you know, back to the sweet science, you know, doing the things that we ignore, fighters ignore, yes. the coaches who, the coaches do their best. You know, but then sometimes the fights we go crazy a little bit. You know, just once again, there it's all about you. You, you want to put your heart out there right. rather than to focus on the sweet science. You know, so sometimes you just have to put the ego on one side a little bit, and then just really learn the you know the art of boxing. Your humbleness came back. Ah, the, the humbleness has always been there. Right. You know, but sometimes we are too eager. You know, to right. wanna just go there and uh, take someone's head off. <laughs> and um, you know, it's just kind of like. Do you uh, see yourself fighting for a title belt at 126 or 130? Once you get the opportunity for that title. Belt? I see myself winning another belt very soon. Okay. You but know, you don't know which weight class it will be. It could be any any weight class. You know, uh, I'll tell you how it's gonna be. It's either somebody is gonna pull out of a fight, okay. and they're gonna call Isaac Dogbe, and I'm just gonna go out there and just knock the person out. Right. That, it, it, might, it, it could be like that. Or it could be that, you know, I'm just going to... Neho. Neho. Or it could be that I'm just going to just take um, the fights that it comes and uh, someone might overlook me and just be like, oh, he's lost two fights. Okay. You know, so who knows? It's, it's what it is, but I see myself becoming a two-time world champion. 
There you go. Any last comments for your five fans out there, um, Ivan? Uh, watch out for the Royal Storm. Isaac Dugbe, 2020 is not yet over. I know that there are a lot of um, uncertainty, you know, due to the COVID-19 and, uh, you know, this pandemic. But I just want to tell everyone that they should keep focus, you know, they should keep, they should keep praying and uh, they should keep strong and motivated, you know. Right. Um, the year is not yet over. Great things are still yet to come, you know. So um, everyone should uh, just stay focused, you know, and um, enjoy enjoy themselves. They shouldn't worry too much about COVID-19, you know. It's, it's, it's getting it's, better. It's good things that they're coming good, back to normal. Exactly. It's good that they protect their, their, themselves, but at the same time, they shouldn't overstress and over, over overthink. Overthinking is a is, is, is a killer, you know. Right. So they should just. Um, enjoy their lives and enjoy their families and uh, friends will definitely get back to normal, God willing, you know. Thank you for your time. Those are the words of former world champ Isaac Royal Storm Dog Bay. Expecting Neho. Expecting Neho. to see him in action pretty soon. Thank you very much, Thank champ. You. We will be seeing you soon. Uh,